very yummy potato egg curry for dinner tonight and the first step is boiling our eggs so we do need hard boiled eggs for this recipe so while uh, eggs are in the water getting boiled we'll go ahead and get everything else ready so eggs are getting boiled one side and here I'm going to steam some potatoes so I have cut two large potatoes in small chunks which I'm going to uh, steam here and our purpose here is to get my potatoes tender so that our curry gets cooked quickly also I'm going to add some soya chunks in my curry so I have soaked about half a cup of soya chunks in some cold water I'm using Nutrella high protein soya chunks and a person vegetarian they give a very nice flavor to the curry hot oil in my wok and in this wok I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds. You must be wondering that I use cumin seeds in so many of my dishes and that's because uh, cumin seeds is very basic to Indian cooking and it has great uh, medicinal value and in this spluttering cumin seeds they have begun to crackle. I'll go ahead and add onions. So one large onion chop. If you don't have large onion use two small chopped onions. And along with our onions, we will add a tablespoon of ginger and garlic. So one tablespoon of ginger paste and one tablespoon of garlic paste. So we'll fry everything well together and we will also add our spices at this time and if you like your curry to be a little hot you can add green chili I love spicy food so I'm going to add one green chili that I have chopped and for spices we are going to add salt as per taste I'm using about 4 eggs and 2 uh, potatoes, so I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of salt. Red chili powder, half a teaspoon, because I've already added green chilies. And 1 teaspoon of turmeric, that's healthy. Again, great medicinal value, that's why used in a lot of curries. So we'll mix everything well together and let our onions get a little golden brown. So our onions have started to change color. I'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of tomato paste now. You can also use fresh tomatoes if you want. Mix this well with our onions. And now we'll go ahead and add our potatoes that have boiled. Now there is some water in our potatoes, so we don't have to take that water out. Just put this in. This will give a nice consistency. These potatoes are going to give nice consistency to our curry. And along with potatoes, we are going to add our peas and our soya chunks. I have cut my soya chunks like see in small pieces some of them so I'll go ahead and add these in the ones that were large also we will add peas so about half a cup of peas here adds nice color gives great flavor and we will give it 10 minutes and then just before adding pinch of garam masala in the end we will add our eggs and we are giving this 10 minutes so that uh, everything is nicely incorporated with the curry and our soya chunks are fully done. They were soaked in water for about 10 minutes but still we do need to cook them properly. Wow, look at that. My beautiful curry has come along. So now I'll go ahead and add my eggs that I have cut in circular pieces here. So we'll add those in, give it another minute or two 
So half a spoon of garam masala and pinch of kasuri methi that's fenugreek leaves, dried fenugreek leaves. So we'll just crush them over our curry like this for that great flavor. So this is very simple everyday Indian cooking like potatoes, peas, soya chunks, it with rice or naan. I'm going to enjoy it with chapati and for serving top it off with some cilantro leaves which are great for garnishing your curries. Great potatoes and peas curry to my brother Sanjeev and let's see what he has to say. Thank colors. Lots of delicious treats inside of it. Let's just have a bite. Oh man, that's the best bowl of curry I think I might have ever tasted. What do you taste? I taste a lot. I taste chunks of egg and, you know, nutri, potatoes, just everything. Everything's so delicious.